Now we're gonna bring Gingerbread back out. And he has a question for you. Hope you're ready. Are you ready for the question? You are? Great. The question is, do you know what insects are? You do? Great. We're going to talk about insects this week. And insects are small animals with six legs. And they have a very hard shell called an exoskeleton. And many of them have wings. Okay? Our first insect we're going to talk about this week. Do you know what this is? This is a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Can you say a touch caterpillar? Great job. I'm gonna read that book on the caterpillar, the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Call. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. So friends, as we learned, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. One more thing before we leave, friends. Do you know what shape this is? This is a heart. Can you say or touch heart? Great job. Thank you for visiting. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, family and friends. Welcome to Activity Time with Miss Betty. So this week we are talking about insects. And we have learned thus far in our learning about insects. We learned that insects are small animals with six legs. They have a hard shell, which is called an exoskeleton. And many of them fly. So this is an activity digging for insects. And as you can see, I have the letter I here, I for insects. Um, and inside here, I have some beans. And what's hiding in the beans are insects. So you have your children dig and find the insects. Right here. And here's one. So this is a caterpillar. And as they're digging and as they find one, you want to talk about it. So we have already discussed some things about a caterpillar. They start off with an egg, as an egg. Um, they eat and eat and eat and get fat and goes into a cocoon for about two weeks. And then a caterpillar turns into a butterfly.
Anyone having kids? Okay, okay. And here's a bumblebee. You could talk about how bumblebees um, make honey. You could talk about how honey comes from bumblebees. What else do we have here? We have an ant. We learned that ants build the nest, and ants have two stomachs. So you can talk about that. That's a good discussion to talk about. Um, okay. Grasshopper. We've learned that a grasshopper has suction pads on his feet, and that's what keeps them on the stems. So you can talk about that, and you can, you know, you can put anything you can do. You can, as they find it, you can talk about what they are, the insects. You can go over some detail with that. That's one idea, or as they find it, go to eat detail. Then you can start talking about the color. The color of bumblebees are yellow and black. You can talk about the color of this ant. This ant right here is brown. You can go over colors with them. This grasshopper is green. This caterpillar is green and yellow. That's one idea too. Another idea also is when they dig it and when they find the caterpillar, you can talk about the letters. And when they dig it for the insects, you can talk about the letters of each insect also. Um, discuss, you know, gra um, grasshoppers have Suction pads, they are green. And grasshoppers start with the letter green. G. <laughs> the letter G. Caterpillar. This caterpillar is green and yellow. Starts off as an egg and turns into a butterfly, but caterpillar starts with the letter C. Bumblebee. We know that honey comes from bumblebee. This bumblebee is yellow and black. B bumblebee starts with the letter B. Ant. This ant is brown. This ant has, so an ant has two stomachs. We know that they build nests. And the ant starts with A. A, A for ant. So those are the different ways you can discuss uh, insects. I feel big and for them. Then activity, something they like to do with their hands, they like beans, they like playing on beans. And make it a fun activity. Let them dig for insects while they're doing it. So that's one activity that we a sensitive activity for insects. What we're going to do next is called a fun game. So it's an insect game. And what you do here, we have some more insects here. And what you have here is, what you're going to do is, you, you need a container. I just have a um, cup here. You can use a bowl. You can do, use a cup. You can use whatever you like. Um, you need a container. You need a dice. And you need some... Tongs to pick up the animals with, okay? All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to roll the dice. So we have two. So that is how many insects we're going to pick up. And we're going to pick them up, not with our hands, but with this tongue here, okay? One's fine motor skills, one, two. All right, let's roll again. Five. Now we're going to pick up five insects. One, two, three, four, five. Tweezers, okay? So, and you want to continue going on until you have all of the um, insects in the container that you have. And then when you're done, you want to count how many are in there. So, it's like a, a counting, um, fun, fine motor um, game, counting insects. Okay, but you want to roll first, get the number, use the tweezers, have them pick up with the tweezers, it's good fine motor skills. 
and put it in the container, a cup or a bowl, whatever you like to use. Okay, so that's our activity for today on insects. We're going to essentially digging for them in the, um, in the beans. And then you can turn around and take the, the ones out the beans, or if you have extra, and play a fun activity, counting game with tweezers. And the um, roll die. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.